Hey guys, welcome back. It's a big potting morning this morning. Potted up a few hundred zucchini and tomatoes for sale. I'm pooped. But luckily, you know, we're getting a fog off the ocean, so it's quite a cool day. Which is good, because I got a little bit more work to do. Check out those pots. I already got zucchinis on them. How can I sell that? Female flowers, male flowers. These things are going to be loaded. Well, hey you. Hi puppy. So here I am at my lovely compost pile, which is what today's video is about. Today I want to talk about how to make your own compost tea. Now, before we get into the mechanics of making your own compost tea, let's talk about why. Why would you make compost tea? Well, the answers for that are very simple. Number one, it is very beneficial for your garden. You know, everyone talks about adding compost to your garden, adding compost to your garden. Of course, that is awesome. I, I do that all the time. But compost tea, it is like supercharged compost. Concentrating it and putting it into a liquid form. It's brilliant. So let's quickly run down the list of benefits of compost tea for your garden. Number one, it's a free organic fertilizer. Much like the fermented weeds that we made, compost tea is a rich, multi-nutrient, multi-micronutrient solution that you simply can't buy in the store. Number two, and this is what it has over that weed fertilizer, it will actually add microorganisms and beneficial bacteria and nitrifying bacteria and beneficial nematodes and protozoans back into your soil. All those things that are in the compost, they will come out in the compost tea and when you water with it, you will be adding all those things back to your garden. Number three, using this mixture, your garden will become more pest resistant. It'll become more resistant to disease. It will just be an overall stronger garden. And number four is the delivery system. Now, now that your compost is in a liquid form, it can be applied to plants in ways that regular compost can't. You know, you can water your garden with it, you can put it in a spray bottle and folio feed your plants. You simply can't do that with regular compost. And number five, and this is always overlooked, is that you can use this compost tea to jumpstart a very slow compost, you know, a compost that's not working properly, or better yet, a brand new lasagna garden bed. You can apply this compost tea to get that bed going 10 times faster you know, I love using my compost teas to supercharge my compost and supercharge new beds. So now that we know why we have to do it, let's go do it. So, just like the fermented weed fertilizer, we only need two things to make our own compost tea. Number one, we need a bucket with a lid. And number two, you need a strainer. But the strainer that we use for the weeds is too big. So we use a finer one. And that's it. So let's go make our compost tea. Okay, so we have everything we need to make the tea. You want to start off by filling your bucket about half to two thirds full of your compost. Now a lot of people will fill it, you know, 75% full, even 90% full. But, you know, I'm trying to make a tea here, I'm not trying to make batter. You know, we want this to be a liquid fertilizer. So, you know, two thirds, even half, that's plenty of compost to extract what we need to make the tea. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Next step, just add water. Now, for this batch, I'm actually gonna be using some of my pond water because I want to get extra bacteria and I want this thing to get a jump start. You know, a lot of people use tap water. Well, with the chlorines and the chloramines, you really set your bacteria load back. So you always want to use, you know, rainwater or if you have it, pond water. You, know, you can let it sit but it will quickly become anaerobic and really these compost teas work best when you can get some air into the mixture and keep it aerobic much like your compost so all we need to do is get a lid on this guy okay so it's been about 48 hours I've stirred the mixture Probably every eight hours. I try to do it three times a day just to keep it aerated. Now you can put a fish pump with an air hose in here, but I really like to keep things simple and not everybody has one. Not everybody wants to go buy one just to make compost tea. So you can aerate it just good enough by uh, stirring it with a stick. Um, some people say to blow in it with a straw don't do that because you're actually just putting carbon dioxide into the mixture. So stir it with a, stir it with a stick, you know, every eight hours, good enough. So let's get this strained. Okay, so we got numerous buckets here. We're always short on buckets, so make do with what we got. Uh, let's... Well, it doesn't smell nearly as bad as the fermenting weeds did, which is nice. I might be able to get away with one bucket here. Okay. Drain. Back in there. Uh, oh no, we're not gonna need the second bucket. Okay. That over there. Now we've got the fine strainer. We set that up. Okay. Set that up in the corner like that. And all right. Just get those fine particles out of there. Look at that. So that is the silt that you don't want running through your sprayer if you're going to folio feed these things. So good to use the fine strainer. I'm actually going to put that on these tomato plants here. That stuff's worth its weight in gold. So, there is the compost tea. Now, let's talk a little bit more about it. So, that's compost tea, you know. So it takes about two days to get a batch, and, you know, total work time is probably about less than 20 minutes. So in regards to the benefits of compost tea, you'll read a lot of conflict on the internet, but that goes with anything. You know, a lot of the doubters you know, they'll say things like, it doesn't add any extra nutrients, why don't you just use compost? Well, no, of course it doesn't add any nutrients. It's not creating new nutrients. But, you know, I'm a huge believer in foliar feeding. You know, I've seen the benefits of it. Well, I can't go and throw shovelfuls of compost on my tomato leaves. How does that work? So... Just the fact that you're able to render your compost down into a liquid delivery form, 
that right there means the effort is worth it, even if it's the exact same nutrient level as standard compost. You know, and in terms of using it on your plots or your beds, you know, the naysayers will say, well, why don't you just throw your compost on there? Why go through all the effort? Well, as a no-till farmer and a heavy mulcher, I just can't throw compost on the top willy-nilly. I would then have to mulch it. That doesn't work. That's fine if you're just rotivating and tilling your fields and throwing compost here and there. Yeah, of course, that's what I do. But as an organic, no-till farmer, I can't do that. You know, having my compost now in a liquid delivery form means I can foliar feed, I can water all the beds, you know, I don't have to mess with my mulch, I can, I can basically treat it as a standard organic fertilizer. So when I implement it with my program of using the weed fertilizer that I make, and I'll throw a link to that video down below, I feel like I'm covering all the nutrient regimes that I need to to have my plants growing at an optimal level. So to me, compost tea is a win-win. I don't care what the doubters say. You know, and the fact that you can whip up a batch in 36 to 48 hours, you know, it's just so easy. It, it, it's easier than going and buying fertilizer at the store, in my opinion, and much better and much safer. So that's it for the video, guys. It's already getting dark out, you know, Click subscribe if you haven't already. As always, leave some questions or comments down below. Do you believe in compost tea? Do you make compost tea? Do you make it any differently than I make it? If so, you know, leave a comment. And uh, we'll see you next time. Who's back? Let's go find it. Oh, let's go. Oh, it's just you. Crazy coops.